Make sure the same TVDN will explain what should be replaced every time you remove that camshaft position actuator. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. You have check engine light and code P0010, which means uh, camshaft position actuator A, bank one. We'll explain what bank one means, which one is camshaft position actuator. We'll talk about how to test that sensor and actually what uh, component you should replace every time you remove that sensor. Most people will not do that and uh, you will have to guys, we'll explain why. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos. On that dot charger, we'll have even more. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos, absolutely free. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your dot charger or any car, you want to get them at a good price and quick shipping, you want to save money, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our or two supplies from and uh, we'll share where you can find even additional things so what do we have specifically here 2018 dodge 3.6 engine right here uh, now let's talk about that code we have uh, the upper engine cover removed intake holes right here everything's pretty loose and so we can show you guys this is you can see the engine right here that we have the 3.6 uh, this is a dual variable timing engine and uh, what do we have specifically here you can see if you look at the engine now guys okay you have seen the head number one seen the head number two this is known as bank one bank two variable timing engine guys means that you uh, your engine is super smart and uh, it can retard and advance the timing on each camshaft intake and exhaust camshaft position actuator right here are responsible for that you have variable timing camshaft gear on the inside if you guys get those codes it could be something completely different than a sensor and we'll talk about that make sure to stand till the end but before we start let me tell you guys many of you have been asking us to share information about a good scanner uh, that we use this is one of the best ones i'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features but it works on almost any car you can think of and it's a tool that can pay itself off in just one time use so if you get called p0010 that means camshaft position actuator a what that means if you look right here this one will be for the intake camshaft uh, right there guys and that's the camshaft position actuator that's what it looks like if you want to see how to replace it we have the complete video on the channel but also we have a video how to test camshaft position actuator variable timing camshaft position actuator and uh one thing guys okay if you get that code it may not be a bad camshaft position actuator it could be other things one inspect okay the wiring harness make sure that it's dry not contaminated with oil the sensor itself sometimes can uh, actually cause internal oil leaks or sometimes you may have a leaking gasket valve cover gasket or camshaft position actuator gasket and that can cause oil in the connector and that can interfere with the signal number two inspect the wire that it's not broken and it's not pulled out of the connector because when people disconnect this they will often grab for the wires and you can pull them out of the pins and that can cause miscommunication that gasket needs to be replaced every time you remove camshaft position actuator because usually it will flatten and it will not be very flexible and that can easily cause valve cover oil leaks here as well if that doesn't fix the problem what else it could be you have the variable timing uh, camshaft sprockets on the inside uh, this is a really complicated uh, system guys you have the sprockets you have multiple oil passages going through the uh, intake exhaust uh, camshafts and often having the wrong type of engine oil old engine oil uh, oil filter that's malfunctioning or it's dirty not having enough engine oil the level is low that can cause problems with the variable timing as well something else dirty in engine on the inside can do that too so uh, we've used many times engine flush leaky moly engine flush uh, before oil changes and that thing is a miracle guys we we saved so many cars without spending any more money on parts and tools for variable timing and uh, we use it on bmws mercedes multiple cars and we tested it on a porsche cayenne with 190,000 miles and when we flushed the engine on the inside it looked like new so uh, very very good too 
So always check guys, those are the things that I would recommend to check. If you have any more questions, let us know, leave a comment below in the comment section. And uh, if you want to know anything specifically uh, for your specific problem, leave a comment. If we have time, we'll try to make a video, that way we can help you. We can help other people with that problem. We can build a community where we save each other money. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.